There's exoplanets that may have bio, uh, signs of biomarkers, elements or compounds that either are produced by life or necessary for life. So when you think about it, it's addressing two of the most fundamental questions in astronomy. Probably life out there in the universe. I can't wait to find it. For centuries, humanity has pondered the possibilities of life beyond our world. The James Webb Space Telescope has been a groundbreaking innovation that has allowed scientists to explore distant celestial bodies, including the intriguing Proxima Centauri system, located a mere four light years away. Within the system lies Proxima b, a planet that has captured the attention of researchers due to its enigmatic artificial lights. These mysterious phenomena have sparked intense debate within the scientific community, raising tantalizing questions about the potential existence of intelligent life beyond Earth. Despite our extensive cosmos exploration, Earth remains the only planet known to harbor life. Throughout history, humans have contemplated the existence of extraterrestrial beings, leading to endeavors such as the search for extraterrestrial intelligence initiated by American astronomers Jill Tarter and Thomas Pearson in 1984. Despite decades of diligent effort, it has yet to detect any conclusive signs of alien communication. The launch of the James Webb Space Telescope marked a significant milestone in our quest to uncover the mysteries of the universe. Equipped with advanced technology and situated millions of miles from Earth, this colossal telescope has revolutionized our understanding of the cosmos. Over the past two decades, astronomers have discovered thousands of exoplanets orbiting distant stars, revealing the vast potential for life beyond our solar system. As we continue to explore the cosmos, the James Webb Space Telescope stands as a beacon of hope offering unprecedented insights into the nature of distant worlds and the possibility of life beyond Earth's borders. Through its observations, we may one day unravel the universe's secrets and discover our place among the stars. The search for life beyond our solar system opens up intriguing possibilities, particularly in extraterrestrial plant life. An intriguing discovery came as the Galileo spacecraft redirected its focus back toward Earth on its journey to Jupiter revealing telltale signs of vegetation. The instrument on board detected the Vegetation Red Edge VRE, biosignature, characterized by a blend of red and infrared lights reflecting from plants. For example, a planet resembling Earth, cloaked in lush jungles, should emit a strong and easily identifiable VRE signal. With the James Webb Space Telescope, Scientists aim to measure the VRE of distant Earth-like planets orbiting within the habitable zone of stars. These measurements could be critical indicators of potential life in the exoplanet atmospheres. The JWST employs spectroscopy to analyze the absorption of specific wavelengths by atoms and molecules in planetary atmospheres. This distinctive fingerprint enables scientists to discern the atmosphere's composition and assess its potential to support life. Earth-sized planets boasting atmospheres rich in oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon dioxide present promising habitats for life. Moreover, the presence of unusual elements could signify the existence of technological civilizations. Chlorofluorocarbons, CFCs, commonly used in refrigeration and cleaning, might stand out to extraterrestrial observers monitoring distant planetary atmospheres. If the JWST were to detect CFCs in exoplanetary atmospheres, it would provide compelling evidence of advanced civilizations. Life on exoplanets may diverge significantly from familiar terrestrial forms. Even here on Earth, lifelike extremophiles demonstrate remarkable resilience in extreme environments. These organisms, primarily bacteria, thrive where conventional life would struggle to survive. Humans exhibit varying tolerances, while others survive in highly acidic environments with pH levels below 3. As we explore the cosmos, we must remain open to encountering life forms that defy our preconceptions and expand our understanding of the universe. Given the higher likelihood of planets resembling Earth supporting life than those with extreme conditions, focusing on such planets is a logical starting point. Optimal candidates would possess temperatures conducive to liquid water and orbit around stable stars. Our Sun, classified as a yellow G-type star, offers a familiar reference point, despite being less common and having shorter lifespans. 
However, the abundance of red dwarf stars in the universe presents a promising avenue for planetary exploration. These stars, more frequent and with longer lifespans, offer extended windows for the emergence and evolution of complex life forms. Approximately 40 light years from Earth, the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system will take center stage in the JWST's debut mission. Orbiting a serene red dwarf star, this system boasts seven Earth-sized rocky planets, with three potentially hosting liquid water within the habitable zone. Despite TRAPPIST-1's smaller and cooler mass than our Sun, its planet's close orbits result in light reminiscent of Earth's conditions. Another enticing prospect lies in Proxima Centauri, a red dwarf star just 425 light-years away, and our nearest neighbor. However, due to its faintness, a planet must orbit Proxima Centauri much closer than Earth does to the Sun to support liquid water-based life. In August 2016, astronomers discovered a planet with 1.3 Earth masses within Proxima Centauri's habitable zone, a Goldilocks-like region where conditions are just right for liquid water. This planet, Proxima b, orbits its star at a mere 4.6 million miles, exposed to intense solar winds that could strip away its atmosphere. Yet, despite being tidally locked like the moon to Earth, it receives enough sunlight for Earth-like temperatures and liquid water. However, extreme temperature variations and intense radiation bombardment must be overcome to assess Proxima b's potential for habitability and life. Despite uncertainties, the allure of exploring Proxima b and unraveling its mysteries persists, driven by the tantalizing prospect of discovering life beyond our planet. Proxima Centauri, despite only about 18% of the mass of the Sun, burns much less brightly than expected for a planet in such proximity. Positioned just 5% of the Earth's distance from the Sun, one might anticipate it to be a red-hot cinder. However, the potential for liquid water on Proxima b remains contingent upon an atmosphere capable of retaining heat. Yet, with only 65% of the solar energy reaching it compared to Earth, the planet isn't particularly hospitable to life. Tidally locked, Proxima b consistently presents the same face to its star, resulting in stark day and night sides with significant temperature differentials. Moreover, its proximity to Proxima Centauri subjects it to 100 times the high-energy radiation Earth receives, including X-rays, ultraviolet light, and bombardment by high-energy particles during star flare-ups. Despite these challenges, the possibility exists for Proxima b to be transformed into a habitable world. However, models suggest that the atmosphere of tidally locked planets may collapse rapidly due to volatile gases freezing out on the night side. While Earth's atmosphere can be replenished by volcanic activity and protected by a strong magnetic field, the status of Proxima b's volcanic activity and magnetic field strength remains unknown. Nevertheless, the existence of an atmosphere presupposes the presence of seas, and together, they hint at the potential for life driving our urgent desire to uncover the truth. In a scenario where Proxima b hosts a technologically advanced civilization, solar panels covering the day side could harness electricity to illuminate and warm the night side, enhancing its suitability for habitation. The discovery of Proxima b has ignited a race to detect potential transits, offering insights into the planet's size, mass, and density. However, the likelihood of achieving such alignment for observation is a mere 1.5%, complicated further by the star's tendency to flare. As scientists navigate these complexities, the pursuit of understanding Proxima b and its potential inhabitants intensifies, underscoring humanity's relentless quest for knowledge beyond our celestial confines. Astronomer David Kipping of Columbia University characterizes the star as challenging due to the complex interplay of heat and radiation between stars and rocky planets. While stars' heat causes rocky planets to absorb and re-emit sunlight as infrared light, planets like Proxima b emit distinct infrared radiation. This unique signature is crucial for identifying the planet's atmosphere, a task for which the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, was expressly designed. 
With its sensitivity to infrared light, the JWS is key to unlocking Proxima B's atmospheric secrets, potentially permanently. As successor instruments like Hubble continue to explore the infrared spectrum. Despite Proxima B's faintness, the JWST's capabilities extend to observing city lights on its night side, akin to the faint illumination of Earth's nights. The JWST could detect artificial lighting even at levels comparable to our civilization's nocturnal activity, provided operators within a narrow frequency band compared to starlight. Proxima B's day side boasts a profusion of solar panels, leveraging its spectral edge's unique ability to reflect starlight. As the planet orbits its star, it experiences identical day and night cycles, albeit with temperature differentials influenced by its composition. Without an atmosphere, Proxima B's day and night sides would exhibit more pronounced temperature variations, with the day side radiating heat as a black body and the night side resembling a frozen landscape. Conversely, a less disparate temperature contrast suggests the presence of an atmosphere, which is crucial information that the JWST can discern with its 11.2-day observation window during Proxima B's orbit. If Proxima B harbors an atmosphere, the subsequent step would involve scrutinizing its composition. Detecting gases like oxygen, water vapor, and methane could signify habitable conditions or even the presence of life. However, Capturing starlight as it interacts with the planet's atmosphere poses a formidable challenge. While the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, can examine a select few nearby habitable candidates, its primary focus isn't on extraterrestrial life detection. Furthermore, its capabilities are limited to monitoring changes in methane, carbon dioxide, and water vapor concentrations, and it cannot detect free oxygen, a potent indicator of life. The extremely large telescope slated to commence operations in the mid-2020 AS, is poised to conduct comprehensive atmospheric investigations. Although ozone detection is within the JWST's purview, awaiting the operationalization of upcoming telescopes is crucial. These advanced instruments may employ innovative methodologies to mitigate the overwhelming glare from host stars, enabling the study of reflected starlight from planets. Conceivably, Future space telescopes might deploy internal masks or large external satellites to accomplish this light-blocking task, akin to shielding lights with one's hand to enhance distant object visibility. Subsequent examination of planet-reflected light becomes markedly simpler once starlight interference is alleviated. Regrettably, many gases indicative of terrestrial life can be produced through non-biological processes posing challenges in distinguishing true biological signatures from false positives. Astronomers must possess an intricate understanding of a planet's characteristics to discern whether its geological and atmospheric processes resemble potential biosignatures, aiding in eliminating false positives. The forthcoming phase of exoplanet exploration holds promise for furnishing the compelling evidence necessary to confirm the existence of life beyond our solar system. The initial data gleaned from the James Webb Space Telescope provides a glimpse into the substantial strides yet to be made in this field. The inquiry into extraterrestrial life is one of the paramount questions in scientific inquiry. The cosmos may harbor abundant life forms. Conversely, humanity may find itself isolated on a solitary celestial body in the vast expanse of space. Regardless of the outcome, profound philosophical and psychological adjustments within society are likely requisite for grappling with this eventual resolution. We appreciate your viewership. While you're still with us, don't forget to explore the captivating space-related content available by clicking on the video displayed on your screen.